Good afternoon, Dizzy and Slid Warp the Webway and YouTube. Here is another channel update for my Shade Spire. Um, I got the dwarves done. At least I'm calling them done. I'll let you be the decision of that. But uh, they are sealed. And I'm really happy with how these guys turned out. I, I didn't know what to expect. I've never painted a model with this much flesh before. Um, the airbrush made a huge difference as far as getting the flesh tones the way I wanted. So, in all, I'm very happy with how the, the runes came out red. I was going to do them in a gold, and as you can probably tell, this guy's rune right here, I actually did paint it gold, and it just sort of blends in. I left it that way so that I could remember why I did it, but it, it really just sort of blends in and doesn't stand out across the table. So, I decided to paint the runes red. I also did some gems on the uh, little beard braid holders. Um, and then for the base here, I did a brown. It was uh, one of the GW Browns and then the GW Brown Highlight. Um, this was after I had done a good amount of Agrass Earthshade into the cracks and around the entire base to, to get the effect there. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I don't think this guy's got any skulls on him that I had to paint up. And then just to add a little bit of depth to some of the bases, I painted up the skulls. And his skull and the skull up over here. Um, one thing I would do differently the next time I paint something with a skull this size. I didn't, but I could have. Uh, I needed to do something in this crack right here just to make that a little bit darker and I didn't do that. So that's something I'll have to work on the next time. But uh, the chosen axes are fully painted and ready for the tabletop. So I really hope to get them on the table here in the next little while. And uh, you know, maybe get some, get some victories in with them. I've been getting some draws or close losses but no no real victories yet but i'm still learning them and the cards because cards play a huge part in this game uh the next thing that i will be working on is this fellow right here um you may remember him from the last time where he had a lot of speckling on him uh yet again an advantage of an airbrush i was able to go back in and redo his base color and then i was able to do some really light highlighting with the airbrush and it didn't speckle this time. So I was able to get some decent transitions, um, at least I think, and I need to go in and pick out the rest of his details sort of to make those pop like his, uh, his stubble, rocky growth there, his uh, fur down here, uh, the leather, you know, and then the metal, metal balls and the chains. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this hair. I may do a, may do a, a fiery hair just to, to make it stand out. Um, then after him, I have decided I'm going to try to paint my Redemptor Dreadnought from uh, when I was doing it earlier. I just decided, you know, hey, I need to go ahead and try to knock this guy out. So after him, I'll be doing this fella. And then... Unless the world comes to an end by the time I get all that done, I'm going to work on my Shade Spire stuff some more. The last two box, two guys I've got from the starter box up here. So, hope y'all enjoyed the update. I will see y'all in the next video.